Okay. So one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is about this table saw and why I picked it. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Now, like many of you know, this is a small job site table saw. And I've had this for a couple of years now and it's been really good. Now, these kinds of saws are, you know, really among the cheapest that you can get. Uh, so people are often like, what are the limitations uh, with that? And there certainly are a couple, but those um, can be addressed. So when I bought this one, I went to the store and, you know, I'm no table saw expert or anything. This is just my experience. So I went to the store and I had done no previous research uh, whatsoever. So I just started playing with the different saws there and see kind of which one I liked. Now, there was one thing that really struck me with this particular model, and that was the fence. I really liked how it runs on two tracks. Also, this rack and pinion mechanism here is really smooth, and you can see very easily here on the measurement tape. And if there is one thing that I found in my experience, it's that it's often the small things that make a big difference. Like, I was not concerned about the motor or, you know, the, the overall construction or anything like that. It's kind of similar on most of these saws. Uh, but it's the little things that you use over and over and over again that can really annoy you if they're not right. Now, there are a lot of people who are like, you know, if you want to get serious about woodworking, you need to, uh, you know, get serious about your table saw and invest in something big like a cabinet saw, uh, which is a lot more money than something like this. And in my experience, I mean, that simply isn't true because I have done so much cutting with this one. I mean, I, you have a whole bunch of hardwood right here. I have walnut and EP and Osage orange. Um, not to mention, I've done all kinds of different types of joints. I have done box joints and dados and tenons. Not to mention resawing. I've cut large sheets of plywood. Um, so yeah, I think you can do serious woodworking with something like this. I also like how this runs on 110, so you can plug it in anywhere. And uh, yeah, sure, you can't put a dado stack in here, but I kind of think that dado stacks are kind of overrated anyway, because nobody ever feels like changing the blade as it is. Now, uh, one of the limitations with a smaller saw like this is that it has a smaller top. Um, however, I found if you build an enclosure or a stand around, and I made a video a while back about building this stand, uh, then you solve that problem because that way you bolt it down and, and it just becomes more stable and you have more space for the wood to move uh, and it's just a lot easier to use that way. So yeah, I would highly recommend if you are planning on using a, you know, a job site saw like this to uh, build a stand around it because that way it's a lot better. In terms of sound, it's a little loud, but you know, I'm outside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And also, I really like that it is a job site saw, so it's mostly made with plastic, uh, because this is an outdoor environment, so that really works out well for me. Uh, so yeah, that was a little bit about the table saw. Um, overall, I've been really happy with it. It may not have some of the features of the larger cabinet saws, but if you think about how much cheaper this is, I think it's a really good value. So anyway, I'll put a link in the description to this model if you're interested. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day here today. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's walk into the shop. Okay, let's go inside. Hello, Mr. Orver. And here you can see I have a fire going because it's such a beautiful day today. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to use up some scraps. Now let's go in the shop. So yeah, welcome to the, uh, the indoor shop. Uh, I've got a couple projects in the works, uh, another glue up, and then of course a couple of things in the tinker corner. So yeah, I've got a couple of things uh, in the works here. Uh, and my goal here is really to make this space uh, smarter and more functional for different jobs. Which brings me to uh, this video sponsor, which is the uh, Sensi Wi-Fi programmable thermostat. And it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, let's go take a look at it. So this is the Sensi Wi-Fi programmable thermostat. And like many others, I try to integrate more smart technology into my home. And this one works really nicely. So it basically enables you to control the climate of your home through your phone. Uh, you know, whether you're in your home or whether you are away in your car or at work or wherever, uh, which I think is really interesting. It was really easy to install and uh, it works with a lot of different systems, no matter whether you use gas or oil or radiant heat or whatever. And you can check on your website if your system is compatible. And if you have a, a smart home system like the Echo or anything like that, you can also plug it right into that. Um, but mostly what I really like is, is how easy it is to use. So for example, you can see here that the room temperature is 67 and it corresponds to my phone here. So if I want it warmer, I put it up to 68 and it corresponds to 68 here as well. And it also reads the uh, time and the humidity. 
exactly. So you can either control it through your phone or you can control it on the thermostat. So it works either way. So you can see how uh, the two are connected. And you can also set up this scheduling feature where you can set where maybe you want it cooler every night or during the weeks when you're away at work. You can kind of set the habits of your family and what works for you. So anyway, I think this is actually really useful. So if you're interested in picking one up, you can use the code DARBIN for $10 off your purchase. So uh, yeah, thanks to Sensi for sponsoring this video. And uh, let's get back to the shop. God, I can't tell you guys how nice it is that the weather is turning because it's been just terrible here up till this point. The rains have been so bad and now it's finally nice and it makes such a big difference. Um, so yeah, I was just in the mailbox and I've been getting a couple of cool uh, things in the mail lately. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at those. And uh, Olivier sent me this little arm, Swiss army knife, appropriately from Switzerland. So thank you very much for that. Now Ron sent me this beautiful box, different woods, very nice all inside. Uh, just beautiful work here. Also we like how the box has an insert of cork. Never seen that before. Now David sent me this box, full of Elvis stamps all over it, full of Ipe wood. You guys know I really like Ipe, so that was really cool. Thanks a lot, David. It's gonna be put to good use. Getting things in the mail is uh, really fun. I haven't actually quite gotten used to it yet. It's really fun, so yeah, thank you guys. Um, but it's just one of those really nice days today. Um, doing a little spring cleaning, got a fire going. I have the crock pot on with some beeswax in it, so I'm gonna make some more wax polish. Uh, so just some of those things which are kind of nice to do. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description to uh, what, more information about the uh, table saw choice, uh, a little bit about that. And uh, yeah, also make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't do so already. I just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, which was kind of fun. Uh, and I try to put a couple of pictures up there every day to kind of uh, see a little bit behind the scenes of what's going on. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.